Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to tell you all about my interview with the president of Princess Cruises. So if you'd like to hear what he has to say about the new ship and the new television show, please keep watching. today. I hope wherever you are, you are having a splendid day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So I had a very unexpected opportunity to go to Princess headquarters and interview John Padgett, president of Princess Cruises. So I had done a video on the name reveal for the new princess ship, which is the Sun Princess. And I guess they saw it and I got an invitation that basically said, hey, if you'd like to come to our offices, John would be happy to talk to you one on one. And I was like, I was very surprised and flattered that they would want me to come to their offices and conduct an interview, but of course I said yes, and then I started to panic. I wasn't as nervous about doing the actual interview as I was about the equipment, but I got my very good friend Mary to accompany me because I had to bring my camera, the tripod, the ring light, the, the microphone, my laptop, et cetera, et cetera. And I was really worried that we might have a technological issue and I needed an extra set of hands to carry all the equipment. So thank you very much, Mary. So without further ado, here is my interview with John Padgett, or as they call him at Princess Headquarters, JP. Today, I am lucky enough to be here with John Padgett, president of Princess Cruises, and I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, well, my pleasure. Thank you. So where are we right now? Oh, we're here in Fort Lauderdale at Princess Cruises Experience and Innovation Center. This is really very, very impressive. Yeah, well, this is the hub of our global operations and where we're here supporting the ship to make sure we give the greatest experience for all of our guests. That is amazing. So this is a super exciting time for Princess right now. The premiere of The Real Love Boat on CBS, and I had such a great time with the premiere party. The Love Boat originally, for over a decade, inspired millions of people from around the world for happiness. And then Princess Cruises carried that brand forward for 40 more years. And now Princess with Eureka and CBS have put that together to bring the real love boat to a whole next generation. So we're super excited for what it's gonna do for Cruise overall, as well as Princess. I'm excited too. It looks like it's gonna be a really great show. So I wanna ask you some more questions about the real love boat later, but let's first talk about the new ship, the Sun Princess. Now, as I understand it, this is the largest cruise ship that Princess has ever constructed. So how big is it? Well, the Sun Princess is 20% larger than anything that Princess has ever mm -hmm. created before. It's gonna carry over 4,300 guests and everything about it is actually larger. So we were talking more balconies, more stateroom options, more food options, more entertainment, a piazza, which is to the next level. Uh, so it's really a special creation. It's an evolution of Princess. It's not a revolution because we took everything our guests love and we gave them more of it. Right, that sounds amazing. So you think that loyal princess passengers are really gonna respond well to this ship. I do because we put extra effort to make sure that we took all of their opinions and perspectives into account when we created the Sun Princess on this new Sphere class that we are introducing. Okay, so speaking of the Sphere class, this is the first ship that will be in the new Sphere class. And I hear it has a distinguishing feature. Well, it is our first ship in the new Sphere class following an extremely successful Royal class, which our guests absolutely love. But it has this dome which is the first geodesic dome ever created at sea. And it sets up really a multi-use facility where in the daytime, it's beautiful terrace seating. You're outside, but kind of inside. Uh, it's just a magnificent uh, space with water features and stages and things of that sort. But in the evening, it converts into an entertainment venue. With 4,300 guests, we wanted to not only have our classic Princess Theater, but be able to move up and have entertainment on the top deck. And that's what this will give us. So that sounds amazing. It's kind of like a Gemini. It has two sides to its personality. Hey, that's a great analogy like that. Right now, Princess has a new show on the air. It's very, very exciting. And it will be on CBS on Wednesday nights. Is that correct? Absolutely. Nine o'clock following Survivor. So you can't get a better setup than that. And we're excited that millions of guests will be seeing what is great about Princess 
every single week. And so you'll have beautiful people, beautiful ships, incredible food, beverage, and entertainment, a lot of activities. We think there's something in this show for everyone, just like our experience itself. How involved has Princess been in the production? Well, Princess has been an integral partner to Eureka Production and CBS. With Princess's participation, it's completely staged authentically on the Regal Princess, on our Mediterranean itinerary, and all of the destinations are the same destinations our guests can have as well. That is really cool. And are the crew members that we're going to see on the show, are they actual Princess crew members? We do have some actual Princess crew members on the show. Paolo who is the captain on the show, is actually the captain of the Regal Princess and on that particular itinerary. So he was actually sailing that ship. Now he was not the active captain while in production. Okay. We brought a new captain to the ship for that, but he is the captain of the Regal Princess. Oh, okay. And are there any other princess or crew members that we'll get to see on the show? Well, the bartender and the cruise director have a ton of cruise experience. So what you have is the show is facilitated by people who actually work on ships and deliver these experiences every day. So I hear that we may see some familiar faces from the original Love Boat on the show. Is that true? That is true. You'll see Ted Lang, the original Isaac, Isaac. and you'll see him reprised as a bartender, as well as you'll see Jill Whelan, who was the original Vicky Stooving at some point in this as well. So uh, tying back to the heritage of what the Love Boat was all about, even though that was a scripted series yep. and this is unscripted reality, but the essence of the show is still very important in the production of The Real Love Boat. Right, and the whole point of this show is for singles to potentially find love, correct? Well, the point of The Real Love Boat is to show that in the most beautiful places in the world, on incredible ships, you can really make some great connections amongst people, create happiness. Now, I have to ask, these types of dating or reality shows tend to be very popular with women. So are you really going to watch The Real Love Boat? I'm definitely watching The Real Love Boat. I love reality TV. I've watched every season of Survivor, mm -hmm. a Big Brother fan mm -hmm. and an Amazing Race fan. And so this is kind of a really important and special to me that we have a show in that lineup. That is so cool. I uh, will tell you that my husband is not a big reality TV fan, but he is a huge cruise fan and he is planning to watch too. All right. Well, there is a new person mm -hmm. for reality TV and we hope there'll be a lot of folks that come cruising as well after seeing how magnificent these ships are. So last question, what do you think is going to be the coolest cruise itinerary destination for 2023? Well, I think no doubt with the Real Love Boat, the Mediterranean itinerary is going to be off the charts, but really I'm looking at Alaska 23 mm -hmm. in the summer because because the Alaska market hasn't been fully open for over three years. So I think the pent up demand to head to Alaska, which anyone who hasn't gone to Alaska knows it's a life changer, mm -hmm. it's epic. And so I would encourage people to go ahead and book that 2023 Alaska cruise right now. And there's no better cruise line than Princess in Alaska. Absolutely, I have been on over 40 cruises and I will tell you Alaska is by far my favorite itinerary. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having my me. My pleasure. Here. Thank All you. Right. Awesome. So that was my interview with John Paget. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to talk travel with me a little bit longer, I will link to videos at the end that I think you might like. And until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.